this doesn't seem good. I'll try to start it now. Okay. I'll put it into gear. It's actually going into gear and it's also doing something. But look here. Okay. It'll take a little speed. Uh, but when I push it into the higher speed, it will do like this. This is not good. It's not this one that's defect is actually the pump. That's also why it won't be hard at all. So I need to change the whole fuel line. I bought a new bowl, I got a new hose, clamps, everything. The fuel filter, I put one on so I will reuse that one because it's brand new. Now this is done. And it looks okay and there's no leaks. The line is coming here, going down in the boat over there into a new fuel filter and there's no leaks. So that is just perfect. That is not a beer that I drink now, that was, was actually what I put up the uh, gasoline. Let's have a look on this engine here. that weighs the same as this one. Okay. Let's bring you in and have a look on it. a little bit dirty and I definitely want to clean that one up there's some information up here I need to check something the spark plugs they look okay but I I won't change those actually here if you can see this one here is going to the top cylinder the next one is actually going to the bottom Number two, number three here is actually going up here to number two, and this one is going number, th uh, number four here is actually going to number three. I do not know if this is correct. I will look it up and see if it's uh, okay. I've just looked it up, and as you can see, it's actually okay and it's set up correctly. I want to make a compression test that is actually not possible because they are so long and this cannot go in and actually reach the uh, the threads so I cannot test it maybe with this one I can put this one in hold it go up there crank the motor and go to cannot hold and crank the motor so I will tie this in uh, with something I warmed up the engine because I want to change the oil. I have a piece of pipe that I will stick in for here so if we can drain it. Let's see how it will go.
Why is it blue? It's not smelling bad. The gear all seems to be okay. You can see the different color coming out here. That is because of this one. I've checked the gear oil. There's no water inside. There's a small water drops here, but that's actually coming from here. So uh, it seems oily, so that's good. It doesn't seem milky. Uh, it looks milky, but it doesn't seem to be that. It doesn't smell. So I think this is actually okay. Not that bad. This oil in here doesn't look that good. If you can see, it feels very thin. I don't see directly water into it, but let's hope there's not water in it. I think it's a, uh, it should be okay. I don't know if this is old or not. He told me that he changed it last year, but I don't know. Next thing. Actually, just to put some new oil into it. Five of those cans here, and we are good. Let's start it up. See my work area. Oh my gosh. You should wait until it has cooled a little bit down before checking. So let's see here. Yes, there's enough in it. So that's good. And it looks good. Hello! Now I'm the testing trip. And actually it's doing pretty good. It starts totally easy, no issue there. I still need to give it a little bit of gas at the time because I think this engine is maybe a little bit big for this boat here. It seems like it's putting a lot of power, but ah, there's something that is just, uh, I, I, I will not say not right, but the engine is too powerful. Um, I need to put it 
slowly up in speed, not just poof, because then I can hear the engine and doing nothing. Uh, and I think it will slip in the water. Um, I say slip, maybe it's actually the prop that's slipping. I've not thought about that. Uh, it could be. It could also be that the prop on this boat here is totally wrong. It's a four blade prop. Uh, it could actually be a wrong one. Maybe I can find one to have a prop that I maybe can borrow and test uh, on this one. But it's 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 not dying uh, anymore. So the fuel problem that did the trick. Uh, new oil and everything also uh, doing a lot of things to an engine like this. So now I want to uh, put it up to speed. I'm sailing against the wind, so uh, let's uh, put it up. Is it a victory? Yeah, I actually think so. Uh, I actually think that the engine is running as it should. So no need for take it apart and uh, clean the carburetor and everything. So that's that's a good thing. Cheers. I still think the engine maybe is too big for this boat here. The prop, I definitely need to check out which size prop it is. It is a four blade. This is the end of this video. So remember one thing, have fun, stay safe and have a nice day.